Hey guys, welcome back. In last lecture, we introduced Dart, but and we wrote simple code. In this lecture, we'll continue and we'll work with variables. So let's start, let's navigate back to our Dart pet environment and let's say we have an assignment to display information about our user and our user can be ourselves. So let's say I want to display here my name and I will write it in comments here what I want to display. So let's say I want to display my name, then I want to display my age, all right, so 28. Then I want to display my height, which will, which is 100. 86.5 and also if I'm employed and this will represent true or false. Okay, so I am employed So this means it's uh, true. Okay, so I want to display uh, This data in our program. Okay, so let's Write here a couple more prints Okay, so print number three print number four and I want to display my name. Okay, pretty simple. Let's display here my name uh, let's display here my uh, my age, 28, all right, all right, and then my height, so 1. Uh, 186.5, and also true or false for employee, okay, and this is true, all right, so let's run it, and uh, fair enough, I should have here a Philip 28, 186.5, and uh, true. Okay, so let's say I need to do something with my user or maybe I need to display my user again. So again, I need to write this again as information and if my username will change, I need to change it also here and then again here and uh, and this is not very convenient. So what we can do, uh, we can save these informations about our user to variables. Okay, so uh, let's say I can create here a variable and let's see this syntax here. I will create here a variable var. It's pretty similar to JavaScript. We have a variable like this declaration. So var for a variable and I can uh, name my variable. Let's say in name. Okay, so here is a name of variable and name of variable is my name. Well, let's say maybe username. Okay, so username is my variable name and I can write here uh, Philip. Okay, I can create a variable for my other values. So let's say here user h, here will be our user height, and here will be user employee employee status. Okay, and uh, let's uh, remove this Philip string. User h will be not a string, okay, and I will be talking about types very shortly. This will be 28. User height will be 186.5 and user employee status will be true. Okay, so we have these uh, variables and we can use them. You can see here that is complaining the value of local variable username isn't used. So let's use them. Let's display here username. Here let's display our user age. Here display our user height and employee status here. Okay, I can remove the second ones. All right, let's run it. So click here run and you will see same results. Philip 28, 186.5 and a true. Okay, let's uh, display second group of a print. So I will copy this and let's paste it here. And uh, let's uh, run it. And actually we don't need to run it. This will be same results, but uh, twice, right? So we will have a uh, our username twice and also H and everything will be print out twice. Okay, let's run it. Okay, fair enough. Here it is. Okay, so now when I want to change my user information, I just need to access my variable here and uh, let's say Philip Yerga here and so on and so on. I can change my other variables. I can run this and you will see it's changed in a both. Uh, Place. So you can see that variables are very useful in programming and uh, yeah, you are you can save your values to the variables You can reuse them later. You can change them and present these changes in all of your code where you are using uh, these variables maybe you're computing some uh, 
some difficult uh, mathematical operations, so you need to save intermediate values to some variables to remember them for later, and that's why you have uh, variables. And it's almost in every programming language you have variables, because you have a data, and this data needs to be somewhere in your, uh, in your application, in your uh, running program. Okay, so in our case, we are saving uh, uh, these values. And yeah, guys, that should be it from this lecture. I want to keep short lectures, so let's continue in next lecture with the types. And you can see here, when I will double click here on the username, you can see here something called string username. Here will be int user age and so on. So I will be talking about this in a next lecture. So guys, I hope to see you there.